New this morning, a Chautauqua County man is recovering after he was forced to jump from a second floor roof after an overnight fire broke out at his home. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jim Herr has the details from the scene. Well, that's right. The fire here on Jackson Street broke out just before midnight, bringing firefighters from as far away as Dunkirk and Evan Center in Erie County. Irving Fire Chief Gerald Rice lives across the street and told me off camera he was awoken by someone pounding at his door. When he came outside, he saw the fire in the back of a house across the street and the home's resident on the front porch roof. The resident stepfather, Mike Kroll, said the heat and smoke forced his stepson to escape out the front window. As soon as he touched the door, it was hot. So he tried to open the door and seen flames and shut it and went out onto the roof. He later jumped off the roof to safety and was not hurt. The fire appears to have started in the back of the house on the first floor. It then spread up and into the attic where it spread throughout. Firefighters having a tough time battling this one because of the confined space in the rafters up in the attic. The resident telling fire officials he believes that the fire is electrical. The Chautauqua County fire investigators will look into the fire and will give their final determination in the coming weeks. The home likely a total loss this morning, and I was also told the family Christmas gifts also a casualty of this fire. But the silver lining here in Irving this morning, no one was hurt. Reporting in Chautauqua County, Jim Hurst, 7 Eyewitness News.